Oh, God, it's horrible. Hello, everyone. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Okatushka, and welcome to Meat Madness. I mean, RimWorld Anomaly. In the last episode, we had the giant meat heart, which I think is spitting out meat? Is this thing just spitting out twisted meat? Either or, uh, we now have a flesh mass nucleus that might be an unlimited food supply for us. Cool. We also have a bunch of meat monsters, because, uh, there was a lot, th there was a lot of meat. Alright, there was a lot of flesh. Oh look, more, more meat. Great. But the goal for this episode, I say, is finishing up the containment area and getting our people some better supplies, some better armor, better weapons, just better. And maybe even work on a hospital, living quarters, dormitory area, something, anything. Because, uh, I don't know if this is going to cut it. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Now, in order for us to do all that, we're going to need steel and we're going to need a lot of it. So, let's go ahead and, um, requisition the steel from this area. We'll go with Tramp, Lady, uh, Clone Indigo, Yumi, and let's go regular Indigo too. Yeah. That should work. It does spit out meat. It's a meat miracle. Oh, don't, don't eat the raw meat. Don't, don't eat it. Don't eat the raw meat. Put in the, aww. Okay, they're here at the work site. Ooh, a new battery. Uh, ooh, we could take that. But cut off the power supply first, though. So, let's get everybody together. Oh, wait, we we got hostels. All right, Lady Tramp, take him out. Don't shoot, Lady. And to go, really? Come on, man. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Wait, Yumi's down? Oh, it's probably from the food poisoning for eating the twisted meat. Alright, area is safe. Can we not just... Just claim it. There's the steel. What's in here? Ah, nothing important. All right, let's take everything of importance and save you, me. Good job, everyone. Something I just thought of. Hear me out. Tramp has the plating. Lady has spikes, right? Can I give them both? Like, can I give them, like, Tramp the plates and spikes, but Lady as well, plates and spikes? Or can you only have one? I mean, I can only assume you're going to have one of the hearts. But of course, these are ghouls. Maybe they can have multiple hearts as well. Make a spitter heart while you're at it. Oh, yeah. They have both. The barbs and plating. I assume that slows them down a lot, though, right? Moose speed minus 0.7. Moose speed minus... Yeah, so it's almost... Oh, yeah. They're going to be moving very slow. How slow? Alright, catch up with McKenzie. Oh no, McKenzie is zooming. Yeah, they're not catching anybody wearing all that, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Another drifter, huh? Well, last time we talked to a drifter who uh, wanted to come and help us, they unleashed a metal horror onto us, but uh... I like your hat. So, McKenzie. Go talk to Holloway. Or Holloway. The weary looking drifter stretches his legs. He seems very tired. He has to stay in your colony for a while. At least until he's recovered his strength. He offers to use his healing powers to help you. It may be very useful, but you also sense there's something Holloway is not telling you. Uh, Yeah, allow him to join. Unnatural healing. Use dark psychic influence to heal someone. The process will stop bleeding, restore blood loss, and can even heal significant injuries. However, it may also have unexpected side effects. What do you mean by unexpected? 
Lady and Trav aren't injured. What unexpected side effects is it gonna have? A natural healing. Halloway has finished his psychic healing on Tramp. Tramp's stab was healed. Does it have any side effects? Or maybe it's because he's a ghoul. How long? Six days? Alright. In six days we'll try it on but Wheeler. Let's see if it has any side effects. Maybe it turned him into a ghoul. Maybe it will turn him into a metal horror. Maybe this is a bad idea and we should not be fussing around with forces beyond our comprehension. But it seems so cool. Oh, I forgot about this. I was looking at Holloway and I was like, what? Psychic suppression? What's up with that? Now look over here, psychic suppression. Then, oh yeah, right. That's the thing. Okay, I guess we gotta handle that. Ooh, ooh, Wheeler, careful. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the metal, metal blood and the ghoul frenzy. Okay, maybe it was a mistake. Maybe that was a mistake. They're gonna be slow. They're gonna be slow. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, goodbye, metal. The node. Well, we lost the mech node, but, uh, everyone seems to be okay. Well, Wheeler's down. How are you looking? Six, you're fine. You're okay. Walk it off. There we go. And now to the victor goes the spoils. Devour attack. After after we just got through all this. Oh, well, the last devour wasn't that big of a problem. Uh did everyone get ready? Alright, there it goes. It took the bait. Take it down. And now capture it. Great, now we got a clone of Wheeler. <laughs> And he is injured just like the regular. Oh, he's bleeding out. Wheeler, you're bandaged up. He is not bandaged up. I mean, we obviously know which one's the clone, so. Alright, Holloway, let's try your. You know, I was gonna say using on Wheeler. But if there are some side effects. The clone's gonna have organ failure, anyways. So. Let's see what happens. Alright, unnatural healing. Blood loss was healed. So you just gave him blood? Is there anything else? No? Well, it did say mayhem. I I don't think that's a side effect from the, the healing. I think that's just the clone. Yeah, something has gone wrong in the duplication process. Yeah, it's... That didn't have anything to do with the healing. So, <laughs> at least there's that. What? Holloway's howl. What? What happened? Holloway lets out a twisted, half-human scream. In the distance, you can hear other screams answering the call. They are coming. Who was they? Lady, 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 take him out, take him out, or knock him out. Can we take him as a prisoner? Fall back, fall back, fall back. Everyone fall back. Lady, get him. Who is coming? Okay, we were able to take him down. He's still alive. Lady, take this one. Uh, everyone else. Hold him out. Oh, thank God you got that one, because he had grenades. Oh god, Psy Stealers. Okay. Is it more than one? It said they are coming. Where are they? Okay, alright, okay, alright. Alright, the Psy Stealers down. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, area is now safe. Perfect. Let's quickly lay claim to all this. Tramp, go in here. Lady, go in here. How's everyone else looking? Oh, nobody's injured. Good. We got all the steel. We got a sight stealer. We got a traitor. Who had magic. Ugh. I really wanted to see what his... It said his healing would do something. I wanted to see... Oh, it doesn't matter. Alright. Let's go home.
Oh my god, they cut out his eyes! Mackenzie, save him. Save him. Save him now. Jesus! I knew he was going to take some damage. I put him up front, but I was like, yeah, I'll save Kelly, but... I didn't think they were going to cut out his eye! Both of them! Well, I think we still got one bionic eye. Right? Yeah, there it is. So, uh, he'll have one eye. Wait, don't we have also have an Arcotech eye? I do! But I don't know if I want to waste that on Wheeler. I mean, Wheeler's, uh... Wheeler's, uh, he's Wheeler. He's not even one of us. I mean, he's one of us, but he's not, he doesn't follow our religion, so... I, I, I don't know, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. And hey, now we got a blind madman. Well, he's not mad yet, but... We can fix that. Okay, so you're definitely not human. You're also starving to death, but we'll worry with that in a bit. Uh, can't we do... Oh, wait, right, we're out of medicine. Right. Well, that's fine. We will... Try to recruit you. Convert first. And, you know, worst case scenario, this thing breaks out and eats you. So, it is what it is. A group of cultists from the service of Horrox have arrived nearby. They intend to use psychic ritual to abduct a colonist via teleportation. They might perform the ritual multiple times. You need to go stop them. All right. I didn't know this was a thing. I thought we were the only cultists. I guess they are like the... They don't care about science. They don't want to study. They just they just want to cause mayhem. And Oh, they, they started. They started to, but then I guess my ghouls came out. And they were like, hey, get the ghouls or something. Whoa, look at that dagger. It's a gladius. Style Horexian. Wait, can I get my style to be Orexian? Like, look at that. That looks cool. I like the axe. Can I get my style to look like that? I guess I have to wait and find out. Uh, either or right now. Ooh, that's a lot of them. I, ooh. Maybe, maybe Lady and Tram should fall back just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't think they have a gun. What is coming out of your neck? What is that? Flesh tentacle! A fleshy, muscled tentacle resembling a partial transformation into a flesh be- Ugh. The tentacle is excellent in manipulation. The flesh tentacle has its own neural structures and may become dangerous if removed. How did you get that? I want that. Well, I don't want that. That's gross. But I, want, I want things. Does anybody else have any kind of mutations? No? Alright, well. Everyone get get ready. Oh, watch the lamp. Watch the lamp. Tramp, get in there help lady. Ooh, that one's coming in from the side. Alright, and now we got cultists. Snow dropped a shard of dark ar Oh, sweet! Nice. How many of them are alive? We got one alive. I think this was dead. Yeah, but you're alive. Hey. Capture him. Nightmare Deep? That's what their religion is? Oh, that's cool. Uh, wh Wait, are you just like a random faction? Are you in the world? I guess they're just random cultists. They heard of our facility housing these beasts and they wanted our our secrets, our understanding. That's why they wanted to kidnap one of us. Oh, he died. And with him, his secrets go. Oh, great. He's gone berserk. Lady, tramp, take him out. Or whatever. You know, if you gotta kill him, kill him. It's not, it's not that big of a loss. Alright, he's down. No, at this rate, he's probably more trouble than he's worth. Just, just finish him. I hate to have that unnatural healing gone, but it it, it was just going to take too long. I completely forgot about Mackenzie's Yeoman Ceremony. That could have helped so much during that fight. Maybe we would have got something that stunned them or harmed them. Anything. 
And maybe Wheeler wouldn't have his eyes cut. It. Well, it's too late now. It's too late now. Alright. What did you get? Burden. Slows the target for a short time. Well, not bad. It's actually pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I didn't notice that was damaged. And we're losing power. We can't lose power. We, we we really can't lose power. If, if these things get free, we're all dead. Do, do these things have components in them? Maybe? Hopefully. Please? Well, that one didn't. So, I, I don't think this is going to have it either. Nope. Oh, boy. Maybe we... Is there is there one in the heater? I, I, I just really need to get a component, please. Yes! Oh, thank God. There we go. Okay, power should be back online. Yes, yes it is. Alright, good. Wait, dark is out? Dark is- dark is out? Dark is 18! Okay. What- what are you good at? No- well, nothing. You haven't really done anything. You're also a recluse. Well... Better than nothing. Alright, let's get you a gun. Happy 18th birthday, kid. Here's your gun. Ah, America. I just noticed something. Kelly is the father of Dark. Kelly has the ability to make light. I wish I planned that out, but I'm not that smart. We got most of the base done. I mean, as far as the floors are concerned, we still got a, a lot of doors and we really need to get rid of these bedrooms, but the floors are looking pretty, and, and you know, the biofret floors, but those are gonna come with, with time. But the regular floors are, we're nowhere near done. And it took all of the steel we had, all the steel on the map, all the steel I was able to get from raiding, I mean, all the steel I was able to acquisition. Thank you, PR department. Uh, and we, we steal. Yeah. I don't have enough for all the doors. Not to mention the plasteel. We do have a lot of components, though. I'm very happy about that. But I am building a long-range scanner. So hopefully we'll be able to find more steel. Jesus, what have I done? I mean, we do have all this slag. I can do something with that. We can turn that into steel. Let's, let's, why am I not doing that? I'll tell you why, because I'm stupid. But with the facility mostly completed. I say we start working on the the bedrooms. The, the more meat trees and a tribute collector. Uh, it, I say we start working on the bedrooms, like the actual dormitory. The a, a better can can we get like 5 seconds for me to talk to people without a new pop-up? The dormitories, uh, a new cafeteria. You know, we really need to do something with this. Uh, and, and maybe a little fun rec room. And maybe even a new hospital, because this is, uh, this isn't cutting it. And I say we keep with the, the, the shape. I say we make it kind of symmetrical. Like, we have this right across from the, maybe even get rid of this wall. I mean, I like the wall originally, but now it's kind of like, eh, we don't really need that wall. And I can just build from here across an entrance way into maybe like a throne or a ritual spot i mean this is going to be the more human aspect of it so maybe this could be the the part where the rituals are done or something quest expires in 24 hours i don't remember i i don't remember this uh what is it yeah we'll do that nine honor and give it to mckenzie she's our leader and we can now turn mckenzie into an acolyte to set this question, you need to assign a throne to McKenzie. Well, perfect. We're just about to build a throne area, I guess. I guess it'd be called the throne area. The throne room. Throne area. Right. It's the throne room. <laughs> and I'm thinking something like this for the dormitory living quarters. Like a, a mirror to the anomalous containment area. Like, we'll have an entranceway. This can be, like, the throne room. Put another room in the back for the ritual area. I just gotta mine this bit out first. Now, we will have to make the whole thing out of wood for 
obvious reasons. We are very low on steel, and, uh, you know, I, I kind of like the look of the natural wood. You know, it's not a bug, it's a feature. I like the natural wood for the living area. Shut up, I'm not saying it just to make myself feel better. You're saying it to make myself feel better. Oh, also I decided to delete the long range scanner. I had that confused with the ground penetrating scanner and uh... Whew, that was about to be a big mistake. That's 200 steel that was just about to be thrown away. You know, looking at this, I'm loving the mirror between these two. We got, you know, natural manufactured. Life machine. Light dark. I mean, I guess technically this isn't a light. It's still part of the cult, and the cult is definitely not the good guys. But it mirrors the the Arcotech creatures that we're containing anyways, like the ghouls. They're people, but they have shards of the Arco technology in them. They don't, I'm sure the same can be said about a lot of those. Why does it have growth? Why does it have growth? Well, oh, okay. This activity is still at 20%. So we can still deactivate it. That's fine. Cool. I was getting worried there for a second. We don't need another one of those hearts. And if this is going to be the hospital, maybe I should... Every time I start to talk... We'll, we'll look at that later. If this is going to be the hospital, maybe I should put like in a little emergency exit here. So if they're coming from here, they can just go up and into the hospital. Because they come this way, they're going to go up and into the hospital. Uh, I'll think about it. Anyways, let's see what is going on with it. Oh my god, there's a lot of wings. And the outline is done. I decided to go ahead and make this the hospital area. This is going to be the dormitory rooms. I also decided to go ahead and make a few extra rooms because I don't think that was enough. I could also, you know, get rid of this room, make a second row, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And this is going to be Mackenzie's room, right next to the throne room area. And we got the, the backyard for the, the rituals to summon the demons. I mean anomalies. But all in all, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I know I didn't summon an anomaly, but uh, we had bigger fish to fry. But with that, I'm your friendly neighborhood Okatushka. I hope you enjoyed the video because I know I enjoy making it. And I hope to see you in the next one. See ya!